Here I am at Costa Rica's Arnal National Park. Arnal Volcano is 4,000 years old and one of the 10 most active volcanoes in the world. It's constantly spewing out lava. At night you can see the lava pouring out of the top and streaming down the side of the mountain. I wanted to learn more about volcanoes, so I met up with a guide from Pure Trek Adventures and he took me on a tour. Okay, let's do it. He knows everything about Arenal, including how it got its name. Arena in, in, in Spanish, arena, and sand. sand in English. So the scientists call it Arenal because his material, after a while, you see it, see it? After a while, it develops and it's like sand. You see, that's why they call the whole mountain Arenal. Arnal was dormant for over 400 years. Do you know what dormant means? It means something that looks dead, but is actually alive and just sleeping. Like trees in winter, or my brother Will. Sleeping, but still alive. <laughs> After lying dormant for 400 years, Arnal woke up and had a really big eruption in 1968, which killed 87 people and buried three small villages. Ever since, Arnal has had a few other big eruptions and has small eruptions every day. The little ones are harmless, but you never know when a big one's gonna happen again. One of the world's most famous volcanic eruptions happened 2,000 years ago in the Roman city of Pompeii. With no warning, Mount Vesuvius blew and covered the whole city with ash and mud. The city of Pompeii remained buried for 1,500 years. When it was excavated, the scientists found the ash and mud from the eruption had formed a solid rock case around the people, leaving perfect molds of their bodies. Many buildings and other objects were also preserved, giving us a complete picture of life in an ancient Roman city. What is a volcano anyways? Volcanoes are mountains that are built by the stuff that erupts out of them, like rocks, crystals, ash, and dust. A volcano is usually built around a vent. The vent connects with reservoirs of molten rock, also known as magma, found tens of miles below the surface of the earth. Driven by gases and buoyancy, the molten rock forces its way upward and eventually bursts to the earth's crust. Sort of like a soda. In the bottle you don't see the gas bubbles, but when you open it, the bubbles form and can even flow over if there's enough pressure. Once the magma erupts, it's called lava. My brothers and I made our own volcano. The best part was making it erupt. Back here at RNL, my guide took me to see a crater that was made by a rock the size of a house. It blew out of the volcano and landed here, four kilometers away from the mountain. Glad I was somewhere else at the time. Even though volcanoes are dangerous, they're also an important part of our planet. They create mountains that collect snow and rain used for farming and drinking. Areas around volcanoes have huge underground lakes called aquifers. These provide much needed water for our planet. Also, when a volcano erupts, it throws a lot of ash into the air. This contains many useful minerals that become fertile soil. Nearly everywhere volcanoes are located, people use the rich soil for farming. Even after an eruption, people still return because of the soil. So not only are volcanoes cool, they're also an important part of our planet. Thanks for coming along on our supernatural adventures. Hope you had a blast learning about volcanoes. <laughs>